Watch all the triggered fanboys come in because of the title of this video. Oh, what's the purpose of your channel? Beep, beep, beep. And watch them not get to the part where I explain why I say Galaxy S21, what's the point? Like, who cares? Uh, it's not for the reasons you might think. I'm not saying the phone's not going to be good. It's just that all the fun is gone. Completely. I'll tell you what I mean. Right after this! This, this is... Players, welcome back, and for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below, but for now, let's just get into the video. 2020 was a year of leaks. Let me tell you something. We knew everything about iPhones well before they came out. The leaks were interesting, the way they came in over time from high-ranking officials and that sort of thing. Uh, leaks are becoming part of the culture, and it's just one of those things I guess we got to get used to. But darn it, Samsung, can you please just stop leaking on yourself? It's getting kind of annoying. Like, it's one thing to have people leak to YouTubers and journalists and that sort of thing, and you get little bits and pieces here and there. But Samsung just out here leaking on themselves, like some old man peeing on himself. Just can't keep it in. They keep leaking. Now all the renders are out. Now the press, the press images are out. Like, the damn phone is out. As a matter of fact, there's some guy on YouTube just started up a channel, actually has one, makes videos like every day or so. Uh, he has a Patreon apparently. He desperately wants you to give him money on Patreon. I suspect it's the last time he's getting near a, a Galaxy phone before they come out. But regardless, he has one and he's making videos of it all the time. But we know everything about it. Like the guy actually has it. Previous to this, we would see leaks where we just like have bits and pieces, but the guy freaking has the phone. Remember back when leaks came out and you would get like blurry images of things and you kind of knew what a phone was about, but not exactly? That's the opposite of this. Like we know everything and that's the problem. Once upon a time when you would watch an announcement, you would be surprised by everything. And then, you know, over the last couple of years, you're surprised by less things and less things. And now I don't know what they're gonna surprise us with. Let's just go over the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra in case you don't know what this is about. I'll explain. So we already know all the colors, that's been leaked. We already know the specs, a Snapdragon 888, the newest Snapdragon processor, which is gonna be legit, it's gonna be awesome, gonna be amazing. We also know that it's, there's a 6.8 inch screen for the Ultra, 6.7 inch for the Plus, and a 6.2 for the regular S21. We also know that we're getting 120 Hertz on all of these, including Quad HD for the Ultra. We have batteries starting at 4,000 milliamp hours for the S21, all the way up to 5,000 for the S21 Ultra. These are all exciting specs. It'd be much more exciting if Samsung could tell us though, instead. We also know you're gonna get 128 gigs of storage on the default uh, kind of configuration, which I think at this point should be 256. I'm just gonna throw it out there. We also know that the cameras are slightly different on each one, depending on which one you get. Uh, the S21 and S21 Plus both have a 12 megapixel wide, a 12 megapixel main, and a 64 megapixel telephoto, while the Ultra has a 12 megapixel main, a 108 megapixel uh, wide, a 10 megapixel with a 10x optical. The thing's got like 27 cameras. It's just, it's just got a lot of cameras. I'm not even gonna go through all this. It's got a lot of cameras. We've also heard that perhaps the S21, S21 Plus are gonna have plastic backs or glastic backs as they call them. And the S21 Ultra will have a glass back. Um, obviously they're kind of positioning the S21 Ultra as kind of the major Cadillac version of a phone. The one you really want. You really want the other one. Really the one thing we don't really know is price. We've seen some numbers bandied about, but nothing as solid as this. Like, the phone, we've seen it. We've seen it multiple times, we've seen it multiple angles, there's nothing exciting about it. Any software tricks they come up with is gonna be great, I guess. But at this point, what's the point? I mean, we already know kind of like what it looks like. We don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost. That's one thing that we need to solidify here. I, hopefully someone will get a really good leak about that, but we know everything else, the, the, the phone's everywhere. So I, I'm, I'm kind of not excited about this. So like, what's the point? Um, Samsung just released the phone. I know you're gonna do a big thing on January 14th. At this point, just. Just New Year's, just let it go. Just let it go, baby, just let it go. It's not even worth putting together a whole big extravaganza everyone knows, doesn't matter. I know a lot of you are gonna say, no, no, you need to go through, you need to promote it, you need to, listen, Apple released so many products this year that sold incredibly well without any presentation. If you got the cojones, just release it. As it is, we already know everything about the damn thing. Like literally, what don't we know about this thing you could not put in a press release or a little slick video? Like. 
Let's just, just give us the phone at this point. There's, there's no, I'm, I'm kind of over this. And it's one thing if leakers kind of leak this stuff, but like I said, Samsung themselves have leaked this and I'm just kind of tired and over it. I've never been, le I've never been less excited about a phone, maybe ever. Well, I, you know, to be honest, 2021, I'm not really excited about any of these phones. And that goes for iPhones as well. Like this year, I, I just don't know. It's gonna take a lot. Uh, maybe the Fold 3 will be cool again and not, listen, the Fold 2 was great for a while and I'd, I, I don't know, that thing's gone now too. So is anything gonna be interesting this year? Am I gonna have to change my channel into something else because these phones, what's the point? I don't get it. Galaxy S21, S21 Ultra, S21 Plus, they're gonna be great phones. They're gonna be boring phones, but they're gonna be great phones. Can we just go ahead and release some Samsung, please? I might even buy one if you just, just release it. Now I could sit here and talk about how this phone's gonna match up against other Android phones or iPhones and how the battery life's gonna be better and all this other stuff. I can't even get excited about this. It's one thing if we can speculate about things we don't know, it's kind of interesting to me, but we kind of know. I mean, the thing, like we're seeing videos every day on this thing. There's a, if, uh, what am I gonna do? What, what is anyone gonna do? What, what, what are the videos for? There's no point in doing videos about this phone for the next couple of weeks. I mean, we just gotta wait like two and a half, three weeks and the thing's gonna be released. Like what, what am I gonna speculate on? Nothing. So I don't know about you, but I'm not excited about it. If you are, leave me a comment below. Let me know about it. I know all the haters are gonna be down there anyway, saying that I'm pooping on Samsung. I'm not. Phone's gonna be great. Great specs. it will be awesome. I'm just, I'm just, what's the point? Well, I mean, can we just not do this? Just, just release the phone. I'll see you next time. Peace and love.